Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today I'm in a really good mood, because, as you have seen on the title, today I watched the Sonic movie too. And what can I say, it was really good. Before I keep speaking about the movie, I want to make something clear. There will not be spoilers in this movie, so you can watch it like everything and you won't know anything else that uh, Paramount wants you to know about the movie. To be honest, I avoided some of the TV spots to see if the movie would be better and it landed way better than I expected. So I will not ruin the experience to anyone. I just want to say that I watched it before it premieres here in Portugal as I won a contest. It only premieres in five days here and um, it was really fun, so thank you very much to Bix, who provided the tickets, it was amazing. Now, moving on, I want to make something clear. Um, this movie is really good, it was really, really good, but I think that Sonic fans will have more from it than non-Sonic fans. But I still defend that this movie is really good for non-Sonic fans. I think the general idea that I want to transmit to you guys is that this movie feels more like a Sonic movie than the first one. I think the first one was fine and I really liked it, but not as much as the second one. I think the first one was more like if Sonic is in the human world, while in this one is more about Sonic and Sonic's world. And I really like that. Now, uh, speaking briefly about the voice acting, I cannot provide any information about that because I watched the Portuguese dub, so I don't have Ben Schwartz or anyone speaking there. Uh, well, it is what it is, at least I watched it before it premiered. In terms of the Portuguese dub from Portugal, everything was fine, keep up the great work, guys. Now, moving on to the plot and everything, I'm not going to give you guys spoilers, so don't worry. I just think that uh, this movie, um, how can I say it? Uh, it has a really good plot and it is well structured and I really like that. One thing that I really liked was that the humans weren't immediately put into, into the side which is something good. I thought that Tom and the others were going to be ignored on this second movie, but they were not. They, they have a transitional role, but still, I think it was important to mention them and to have them being part of the movie. Now, um, about uh, the main characters that many of you know, of course, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Eggman. Um, I really like everyone's performances, like um, in the role of the story, I just think that uh, Sonic and Tails' relationship, I think that people needed to remember that this is a movie, so it will not be super fleshed out like a whole series would make, like Sonic and Tails' best friends and everything, it won't be as fleshed out, but I think for the time that they had, was really good. For those that don't know, there is going to be a series uh, af which happens before the Sonic movie 2. Maybe that will explain some more things and like give it a bit more pacing and if that's the case, will be really cool. Now, um, what can I say? There are tons of, tons of references for Sonic fans, so I think that many will have a ton of joy. Um, really liked uh, Knuckles in this movie. In fact, I could not see a second movie without Knuckles, and it was fine. It was really cool seeing Jim Carrey more as Dr. Eggman or Dr. Robotnik and less as himself, as I think the first movie was a bit the Jim Carrey movie, like him as Jim Carrey and not him as Dr. Robotnik. And um, that's basically basically it. I, I won't provide more information. I just want to say that if you are a Sonic fan, it will be a blast. 
and please consider watching it. Keep your eyes open for a ton of references. There are some really obscure ones that I found like super enjoyable and we can see that Paramount cares about Sonic. I think that's really clear with this second movie and I will state something that might be controversial but I think this is the best video game movie adaptation that we have until today. Of course I haven't seen every single one but I think this one really is a definitive adaptation and that when you are adapting a video game to a movie you should watch Sonic Movie 2 as it does everything right in my point of view. And with that said, um, thank you very much for watching. I know that this isn't providing some groundbreaking information, but I don't want to ruin everyone's experiences. You know, honestly, just go watch the movie if you want. And if you were having some doubts, just go watch the movie. It will be a ton of fun. And I hope that you, as a Sonic fan or as a non-Sonic fan, have a lot of fun. Oh, and just one little thing. This is my opinion. Um, I know that many are wondering if there is a post credit scene for you to watch or no. I will be honest and I will not reveal if there is one or not. But what I will say is if you want to pay your respect to Paramount and Sega for all the amazing work that is this movie, just stay sit until the very end. Even if you won't see something, which I'm not saying that you won't, I will not reveal, I think they deserve to be recognized and they deserve your appreciation as a person. So if you can, stay there until the very end, okay guys? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care you all.